asked yourself, I wonder what is happening around town this month? If you have a few minutes, stick around and you will find out that San Bruno is full of fun events during the month of March 2013. I'm Stephanie Tevis. Spring is here and the days are getting longer. To make more of the daylight hours, daylight savings time will begin on Sunday, March 10th at 2 a.m. This means that we spring forward one hour. It is also recommended that we use this day as a reminder to change the batteries out of smoke detectors and carbon monoxide detectors. If you regularly change the batteries every six months, you can be sure that these life-saving devices will work and keep you and your loved ones safe. Did you know that the City Council passed a new ordinance last month that bans single-use carry-out bags? This ordinance promotes the shift to using reusable bags not only when buying groceries, but also clothing and other personal items. The law will take effect beginning on April 22nd. In case you have questions or would like more information on this ordinance, the City is holding an outreach meeting on March 21st at 7 p.m. at City Hall. For more information about what you can do to reduce, reuse, and recycle, please call Recology San Bruno at 650-583-8536 or email the Public Works Department at the address on the screen. You spoke and the City Council listened. It was brought to the City Council's attention that many people were getting ticketed on street sweeping days. Parking is scarce on numerous streets in San Bruno, especially to the east of El Camino Real, and doubly so on street sweeping days. City staff studied the problem and came up with a winning solution. Why not change the hours of street sweeping until after most people have left for work in the morning? As of February 4th of this year, street sweeping begins at 9 a.m. in the residential neighborhoods, whereas before, it began at 8 a.m. And in the areas where street sweeping previously began at 10 a.m., it now starts at 11. The schedule has changed in commercial and industrial areas as well. Hours for street sweeping are now from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. The actual day that street sweeping occurs will remain the same. Kickball is a fun sport for boys and girls. If you are in the third, fourth, or fifth grades, we have the Kickball League for you right here in San Bruno. Practices will be held at each elementary school site once a week. The specific day of practice will be determined by your coach. Games will be played on Thursday afternoons at various elementary school sites. The deadline to register is March 27th. Practices will begin the week of April 8th and the league will continue through mid-May. Come join in and play on the elementary school kickball league. If you are interested in working at the pool this summer, you must have a valid lifeguard training certification issued by the American Red Cross. There will be four lifeguard training classes offered this spring for you to choose from right here at the San Bruno Pool. And the first one begins on April 1st. Look for more information in the recreation guide on page 8 or call 616-7180. Applications are now being accepted by the Recreation Division for summer camp and lifeguard positions. For more information and to apply, go to the Recreation Office in City Park or give us a call. Can you hear it? Listen. The Easter Bunny is calling. Join us at the Veterans Memorial Recreation Center on Saturday, March 23rd for the 34th Annual Pancake Breakfast and Egg Hunt. This event is sponsored by the City of San Bruno, Project Pride, the San Bruno Lions Club, and the San Bruno Rotary. Breakfast starts at 9 a.m. with pancakes, sausage, orange juice, and coffee. This all-you-can-eat breakfast is only $5 for adults and $3 for children 12 and under. Starting at 10 a.m., enjoy an hour of arts, crafts, face painting, and more. Stick around for the egg hunt, which starts at 11 a.m. Come celebrate springtime with the annual pancake breakfast and egg hunt in City Park on Saturday, March 23rd. If you are looking to keep the kids entertained over spring vacation, why not sign them up for spring vacation camp? Camp will be held at the Veterans Memorial Building from Monday, April 1st through Friday, April 5th. Kids ages 4 to 11 will join recreation leaders in games, songs, arts and crafts, and all-around fun. Vacation camp is from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And for kids who just can't get enough of camp, there are extended camp sessions from 7.30 in the morning until 10 a.m. and from 4 p.m. until 6. Find more information on Spring Vacation Camp in our guidebook on page 11. You can always find the newest up-to-date recreation guide on our website, www.sanbruno.ca.gov. Hover the cursor over the department's drop-down menu, then click on Recreation. Then click on the picture of the recreation guide. It's not too late to sign up for the Spring Adult Softball League. Designed for people 18 years old and up, teams play an eight-game schedule with the top four teams advancing to a single elimination playoff. The deadline to sign up is March 8th, so hurry in to pick up your registration packet. 
You don't have to be Irish to come celebrate St. Patrick's Day at the Senior Center. The party will be held on Friday, March 15th. Enjoy music and dancing with the nice and easy band starting at 10.30 in the morning. A traditional lunch of corned beef and cabbage will follow at noon. Remember to wear some green. Come meet new friends and socialize with the ones you already know at the San Bruno Senior Center, located at 1555 Crystal Springs Road, right here in San Bruno. Tickets for the St. Patrick's Day party are available now at the Senior Center front desk. If you enjoy dancing, you will love the San Francisco Open Dance Sport Championships held this year on April 5th through April 7th. The SF Open is recognized as one of the premier dance competitions in North America. The newly renovated Marriott Waterfront Hotel in Burlingame is the venue, right in our own backyard. What's more, seniors have been invited to attend the daytime sessions for free. All you need to do is to get there and enjoy the dancing. The Spring Bocce Ball League is about to begin. League play happens Monday and Friday mornings and on Tuesday afternoons. The deadline to sign up is on March 8th, so come on into the Senior Center now to sign up. For more information, contact Mary at 616-7152. Are you having difficulty using a standard telephone? The California Telephone Access Program makes it easy again. Specialized telephone equipment is free to California residents who have difficulty hearing, seeing, moving, speaking, or remembering. A representative will be at the Senior Center on Wednesday, March 13th from 10 a.m. to noon to answer your questions and to introduce you to these innovative devices. Come learn about the different telephones available to you for free that may make your life a bit easier. Smoking materials such as cigarettes, pipes, or cigars are the leading cause of fire deaths in the United States. And the place where we feel the safest, at home, is where most of these fires occur. These fires are preventable. Here are some safety tips if you smoke at home. If you smoke, smoke outside. Most deaths result from fires that started in living rooms, family rooms, or in the bedroom. Keep cigarettes, lighters, matches, or other smoking materials out of reach of children. Use a deep, sturdy ashtray, and before you throw butts and ashes away, make sure they are out, all the way out. Dousing them in water or sand is the best way to make sure. Never smoke where medical oxygen is used. Medical oxygen can cause materials to ignite more easily and can make fires burn at a faster than normal rate. Remember that one out of four fatal victims of smoking-related fires is not the smoker whose cigarette started the fire. Keep your family safe. I'm so glad that you could join me for another What's Happening Around Town. I'm Stephanie Tevis, and we'll see you soon.